Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome to another presentation of Cross Nation Ministries located here in the city of Buffalo, the city of good neighbors. So delighted in my heart, grateful for God's continual blessings in our lives, causing his face to shine upon us. And I just am so thankful, so grateful uh, for the blessings of God, because he promised us that he will never leave us, never forsake us. And he said, I'll be with you always, even to the end of the age. And our God has been faithful. Our God has continually supplying our every need. And I am grateful in my heart. And I am thankful for the Cross Nation Ministries family and friends of this ministry that have been so supportive. And I want you to know I do not take it for granted, but I give God all the glory and all of the honor. No one can do anything significantly alone. Uh, we need one another. And you have proven that you are a continual supporter of Cross Nation Ministries. And I am so delighted in my heart that I have the opportunity of serving uh, God's people. And I know that is, that's my gifting and my calling. And I don't take it for granted. I do it with joy because God is gracious to me and my family and to my church family. And so this morning, I am so delighted that you have joined me once again in the name of Jesus the Christ. And I want us to continue to pray for one another uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, because it is so important that we keep uh, encouraging and inspiring one another because of the time in which we live, we need one another. This is one of the reasons why uh, Jesus commanded his disciples and to us to love one another and care for one another and consider one another. And I am grateful in my heart that I am privileged to be a part of a family of saints that love one another and care for one another. So now let us prepare now uh, to go before God in prayer this morning because there are so many today that stand in the need of prayer. And it is so good to know that whenever a challenge or problem occurs in our lives, that we can rest assured that there are the saints of God who will pray for us continuously. And I know that I am a recipient of the continual prayers of the saints and I'm grateful to the body of Christ and to the saints of God who have been so faithful in lifting me up in prayer. So let us continue to pray for uh, Mother Bonner that God will continue to bless her and continue to bless uh, Mother Shirley Clark, the wife of our presider. Uh, she's coming along well. I spoke with the presider uh, this past uh, week, and she is uh, pro progressing. And uh, Mother um, Winningham, one of our mothers, uh, continue to pray for her. But also I want you to pray for uh, her daughter, uh, Sister Woods, and her uh, son-in-law, Elder Woods, because they were taking care of her, now they are sick. So I'm asking you in the name of Jesus, let's lift these up in prayer this morning. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, the Christ our Lord, we are so grateful this morning, O oh God, that you have allowed us to join together, O oh God, in praising and worshiping you. We give you glory, Lord, because you're a God who sits high but looks low. We thank you, O oh Father God, for your consistency of your blessings 
that you have allowed to flow into our lives. You have blessed us, Lord, with everything that we need in our lives. And we are grateful in our hearts, Lord, because you promised you would do it. And you have done that, Lord, and we thank you. Father, we ask this morning in the name of Jesus that you will remember, O oh God, uh, to continue to bless Mother Bonner, Lord, to give her the strength that she needs in her body, Lord. And Father, remember uh, Mother Shirley Clark, Lord God, continue to bless her, Lord. We have received a report that she is doing better, and Lord, continue to bless her. Bless Mother uh, Winningham, Lord, and her daughter and her son-in-law, uh, Sister Ruthie and her husband, Elder Woods. Continue to bless them, Jesus, with your strength and power. Restore their health completely in the name of Jesus the Christ. Father God, every one of your sons and daughters uh, that have logged in this morning, I'm asking you, Lord God, to shower them with everything that they need in life to sustain them in the name of Jesus. Those that are sick in body, Father, we ask for their healing and deliverance in the name of Jesus. Bless those families that have been affected by this coronavirus. And we praise you, Lord God, for blessing them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for our blessed morning. Thank you, Lord God, for gracious time of, of fellowship this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We owe you, Lord God, our life because you are the source of our life. You are the sustainer of our lives and we give you all the praise and all of the glory. We love you with all of our hearts and with all of our strength. And the name of Jesus, continue to bless Cross Nation Ministries, Lord, and the family of Cross Nation and the friends of Cross Nation. And Father, we will bless your name forever. We ask these blessings in that name that is above every name, the name Lord Jesus Christ. And let the people of God say, Amen and Amen. So grateful again for you joining me on this morning on another presentation of Cross Nation Ministries located here in the city of Buffalo, 550 Genesee Street. And I bless God this morning for his loving kindness. Now, let us get into the Word of God uh, this morning and I'll continue to just trust God with all of your heart. Uh, in the name of Jesus, that he will continue to bless us. In the matchless name of Jesus the Christ, our Lord. As you know, that our theme and our vision uh, for 2021 is continue the run in 2021. That is continue the run in 2021 and I want to uh, share with you this morning a continual uh, facet of our theme this morning. But let us go to uh, the book of Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. These two verses, you should have committed them to your memory by now. But let's read them together this morning in the name of Jesus. Uh, Hebrews 12 and 1 and 2. It says, Wherefore, seeing we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Let us run this race with patience looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Praise the name of our God. And uh, in other words, we are to run this race by laying aside 
every sin that does so easily beset us. And we are to run with patience. The race that is set before us. That's the emphasis. The race that is set before us. Verse 2. Looking unto Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. The author, the finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Despising the shame. And is set down on the right hand of the throne of God. This is our foundational scripture for our uh, message this morning. And what I want to talk to you this morning, our umbrella theme is continue the run in 2021. But what I want you to put under that umbrella theme this morning starting this morning for a few uh, times that we're going to spend together, what we ought to be as we continue the run in 2021. What we ought to be as we continue the run in 2021. That's the subtopic, if you will, under the umbrella topic, what we ought to be as we continue the run in 2021. Because it is important. We, as we run, keep in mind, it is a race that is set before us. And there are certain characteristics. There are certain behavior. There are certain attitudes. There are certain mindsets that we should have as we continue the run because the run has to do with what God has set before us. And it is absolutely positively necessary to continue to do what God says do and allow him to bless us the way he desires to bless us. So we have to arm ourselves with certain things as we run the race that is set before us. Now, what we ought to be as we continue the run in 2021, number one is rejoicing. Rejoicing. That is something that we need to do, children of God, as we continue the run. This is what we ought to be. This is what we ought to do. That is rejoicing. Rejoicing. Praise the name of the Lord. Rejoicing. Now, it, it's rejoicing because you should already have joy. Because joy is one of the fruit of the Spirit. And so, as we continue to run, it is important as we run is rejoicing. Rejoicing. It's an action word. Continue rejoicing. It, 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 it's, it's, it's very powerful. It has to do with keeping in mind what God has already done. And when we keep in mind what God has already done, we can continue rejoicing as we run this race that has been set before us. Now, I want you to look with me in the book of uh, Philippians chapter 3, verse number 1. It tells us, praise the name of our God, what we should do as we continue to run this race that has been set before us. Look with me in Philippians chapter 3, verse number 1. Look what it says. Finally, finally, my brethren and my sisterin, if you will, rejoice in the Lord. 
to write the same thing to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous, is not a problem for me, but for you, it is safe. In other words, Paul is writing to the Philippian saints, saying them, finally, in other words, in light of all the instruction that you have received, finally, in addition to what I've already instructed you, he's saying, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. In other words, as you run the race that is set before you, and as you are looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith, saints of God, we ought to keep on rejoicing. Rejoicing. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Praise the name of the Lord. As you know, in the physical, in the natural, when you run, you get tired. Praise the name of the Lord. But you know one thing? When we continue to run, the race that is set before us, if we keep in mind what God has done for us, the Lord will give us our second win. Praise the name of the Lord. There's such thing as a second win to a runner. Because when you get your second win, you are locked in to go the distance, to do all of that which has been set before us. So God will give us our spiritual second win as we run the race that is set before us. In other words, the Lord will give us the wherewithal to be able to deal with any and every challenge and problems that may be on the course that he has put us on. Because remember, some races are cross-country, if you will. Praise the name of the Lord. I remember my time in the military where we had to run. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, one of the uh, courses, if you will, or one of the exercise was a 12-mile run, cross-country, combat dress. Praise the name of the Lord. And that we, that we had to endure that. Praise the name of the Lord. But in the spiritual, God is saying to you and me, as we run the race, don't forget to keep on rejoicing. So what we ought to be as we continue the run, rejoicing, rejoicing. Just as it is written here in Philippians chapter 3, verse number 1, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. Notice, in the Lord to write the same thing to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous. It's not a problem, Paul is saying. There's no trouble. But for you, it is safe. In other words, it is to your advantage. If you just remember, as you run, to keep on rejoicing in the Lord. Give God praise. Give God glory. Reflect on what he has already done. Remember what he has brought you through. Remember that no weapon that is formed against you will prosper. Remember the Lord is right there by your side. And not only by your side, but he is running with you. And at the same time, he is in you. And at the same time, he is at the end of the race. Praise the name of the Lord. And the course has already been made plain for you to run on. Amen, children of God? Did you receive that this morning? If you received that this morning, give God some praise that as I continue to run the race that is set before me, I'm going to keep on rejoicing. 
rejoicing. That is what we ought to be as we continue to run. Rejoicing in the name of the Lord. Make a note of that. Rejoicing. Number two, I want you to add to your note this morning uh, what we ought to be as we continue the run in 2021. What we ought to be as we continue the run in 21. Number two, we are to contending. We are to contending, contending, if you will. The first one was rejoicing. The second is contending, contending. And that is in Jude 1 and 3. Jude, the book of Jude, that little small book, Jude 1 and 3. Look there with me. There we, There is, we are to contend or contending action word, if you will, because this is important. Rejoicing, and we are going to contending. That's what we ought to be, contending uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Look what Jude 1 and 3 says. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should contend earnestly, that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Did you get that, children of God? As we run the race, we are contending. And Jude says, I want you to make a note of that. Write it down. Don't trust your memory. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you. That's what I'm doing this morning. That you should earnestly, with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. And this is important. To con when do we are contending, we remain faithful. We remain faithful to that which God has assigned to our hands. We are contending when we are faithful. We are contending when we are committed. Are you listening, children of God? Contending, you are faithful. The Lord said you are faithful over a few things. I'll make you rulers over many. So contending is remaining faithful. Contending has to do with main remaining committed to that which God has assigned to your hand, contending is to embrace, to embrace that which the Lord has committed to you. It is precious. Whatever God does in our lives, it is precious. And we are to, are to continue contending. To contending is remain in the truth. Remain in the truth. Don't take a, do, a detour in error. Are you listening, children of God? First, continue rejoicing. 
Number two, we are to contending. 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 It is important, children of God, to be faithful in the, in the, as you continue to run in 2021. Contending. Faithful. Committed. Embracing that which God has given to you. Staying in the truth. When you remain in the truth, you will always be free. Because we shall know the truth and the truth shall make us free. You don't want any encumbrance when you are running the race that was set before you by the Lord. It is important to re continue rejoicing and contending because this has to do with how we are internally. Always keep in mind, battles are won internally before they are won externally. This is why we should always acknowledge God in all that we do. He said, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct our path. So if God is acknowledged, guess what God does? He takes over. He takes over to make sure that our race is completed that we achieve the things that we need to achieve and we are able to handle any obstacle or any problems that may beset us as we continue the run. When he is acknowledged, then we are never alone in our efforts to carry out that which he has assigned to our hands. There are times, children of God, it may appear that God has left us alone and gone on vacation, but that's never the case. That's never the truth. He is always there. This is why I'm sharing with you uh, this morning a few action words, words that I call uh, words of power, words of encouragement, because what we ought to be as we continue to run is necessary for us to deposit them in our spirit, in our minds, so that we can be a success as we live for the Lord the best of our ability. And when we live for the Lord, the best of our ability, guess what? We're going to receive what God has promised us. So, contending as we continue to run. What we ought to be as we continue the run? Contending, faithful, committed. And this is the key that's going to cause you to be successful. Are you with me so far? Praise the name of the Lord. Let's read once more the scripture that is related to contending, because it's important. Jude 1 and 3, beloved, that's you, that's me. When I gave all diligence to write unto you, of the common salvation. It was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you. That's what I'm doing. That you should earnestly, with all your heart, earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. If we don't contend for the faith, 
you would allow distractions to come into your life and pull you off course. And if you allow distraction to come into your life and pull you off course, it means that you will become delayed in where you should be on the course that you are running. And the course is not going to be shortened by God. God has intentionally, on purpose, set before each one of us the race that he wants us to run because he has already determined if we continue and complete the race, we're going to be all that which he has ordained for us to be. I don't know about you, but I want everything that God has promised me. I want to do all of that which God has ordained for me to do. I want him to take me from faith to faith and grace to grace because I want to please him. In the light of all that he has done for me, I don't want to fall short. And I'm quite sure you don't want to fall short either. This is why it is important to continue the run in 2021 and beyond. And at the same time, be mindful of what we ought to be as we continue the run. Are you with me, children of God? I have given you two power words this morning, and I trust that you have made a note of them. Rejoicing, Philippians 3 and 1. Contending, Jude 1 and 3. Now, let me add number 3 this morning. What we ought to be as we continue the run. What we ought to be as we continue the run. Number three is watching. 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 Rejoicing. Contending. Watching. This is important. Watching. Watching has to do with staying focused, staying alert, staying in the position to be able to hear the voice of God when he speaks. It is important to hear God's voice when he speaks. And if we are rejoicing, if we are contending, and then we are watching, then whatever God says, we are able to hear him clearly in our spirit because we have created an environment. We have created an attitude or a mindset to be able to hear and see what God wants us to see as we are rejoicing, we are contending, and we are watching. Praise the name of the Lord. And as you're watching, you are remain in the attitude to be able to hear and see what you need to see. Watching, what does that mean? Let's look in Luke 12 and... 37, Luke 12 and 37 has to do with watching, watching. That is important. Luke 12 and 37 says, blessed are those servants whom the Lord, 
when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he shall guard himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. Are you listening? Are you listening, children of God? This, this, this is absolutely important. Watching Luke 12 and 37, blessed are those servants when the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. In other words, it's important to be watching as we run. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to be watching when the Lord shall come. Praise the name of the Lord. Why? We want to please him. We want God to be pleased with us. And so there are signs that we are to look to, look for, so that the Lord will be pleased with us, and he will smile on us. Children of God, it is absolutely necessary that every one of us, as we run the race that is set before us, that we will develop a mindset. How are we going to live our lives and serve the purposes of God so that we will bring glory and honor to God as we are running the race that is set before us. In other words, as we run, we are to also be watching because we know not the day nor the hour when the Lord shall come for us. The signs are everywhere. The scripture tells us, in the last days perilous times shall come. Men shall be lovers of their own selves, proud, boastful, blasphemers, heady, high-minded, having a form of godliness. We have to watch that having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. We don't want to be going through the motion when Jesus Christ cracked the clouds. Are you listening, children of God? We must have a mindset of watching, watching, looking at the signs, around us. Look at where we are in our country from a governmental perspective, as well as the pandemic perspective, as well as the racial uh, conditions that exist within our world. These are signs that we are to watch and notice because something is happening in the heavenlies. Something is happening in the spiritual. God has given us things to watch for. As far as being in the body of Christ, the church, we don't want to have a form of godliness and deny the power thereof. We want to have a life of holiness. 
because without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Uh, we must have a quality life, a spiritual quality, not that we get from the world, because the Lord said, be in the world, but not of the world. So we don't want to take the quality of life of the world and try to fit it into the church. It will not work. We don't want to have a form of godliness. We want to have a holy life, a dedicated life, a consecrated life. As we run this race that is set before us, our government has gone through all kinds of changes still going through. There are threats right now of, of domestic terrorism in America. There are groups that has been inspired by men that are evil, men that are selfish, men that are filled with themselves, that want power and authority, and others has been corrupted. As you know, praise the name of our God, bulletins has been published concerning the possibility of domestic terrorism that would take place against our government, against those that are in office, those that are in authority. There are hate groups. There are groups that are springing up to come forth against godliness and lawfulness. These are signs of the time. There are people that just hate for the sake of hate and don't even understand why they hate but they must have a purpose of sort. And anything that is not like God is sin. And this is why the word of God has taught us that there is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof is death. And when life is not lived, according to the word of God, then it causes the individual to embrace something that is wrong, untruth, half-truth, conspiracies, and all kinds of damnable things that the devil has moved on the mind of sinful men and sinful women that are in authority to mislead people. This is why it was absolutely necessary for Jesus Christ to come into a world that was sin cursed, that he might turn it around and turn people toward God. The word of God said God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. So children of God, as we run the race that has been set before us, we must be watchful. We must be watching, if you will, because we don't want to be misled. This race that we are running, that we are encouraged to continue the run, in 2021 and beyond, is our life. Our life is a race. And we must continue the run in that race and run all. Not partial, but run all. But as we run, what we ought to be as we continue to run is rejoicing, number one, number two, contending, and number three, watching. These are the power words 
in the action words that I want you to make note of this morning because they are vital to continue and remain active and involved in the race that has been set before us by our Savior. Children of God, I'm excited about what God is doing. And he want you and I to continue to run, looking unto Jesus, the author, the finisher of our faith, who would for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. One of these days, in our future, if we continue the run and what we ought to be as we continue the run, we're going to see his face. And when we see his face, there is going to be a time that has never been in our lives, but there are new experiences to come. So this morning's children of God, remember the three power words, the three action words that we ought to be as we continue the run, rejoicing, contending, and watching. And if we do so, we're going to make it to the finish line. Thank God this morning for his grace. Thank God this morning for his mercy. Thank God for his love and his kindness who thought of us before the foundation of the world. We were chosen in him to be his sons and daughters. Now, children of God, in that we have been chosen, let us continue the run in 2021 and beyond. And as we continue the run, keep in mind what we ought to be as we continue the run. In the name of Jesus the Christ, our Lord and our God, and make a note of those three action words this morning, rejoicing as we run, contending as we run, and watching as we run. In the name of Jesus. Let's give God some praise, everybody. Everybody that had made up in their mind to re continue rejoicing, continue contending, and continue watching. Let's give God some praise right now. Show some sign that you are going to continue rejoicing, continue contending, and continue watching until you see the face of your Savior. Thank God for each and every one of you this morning have taken the time out to spend this time with me on another presentation of Cross Nation Ministries located here in the city of Buffalo, the city of good neighbors. I thank God for each one of you and may the blessings of the Lord rest with you and let us contend for the faith by contending running until we see the face of our Savior and our Lord. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Father God, this morning in the name of your Son, we thank you, Lord, for this time that we have spent together. Father, I pray that you would bless every one of your sons and daughters. Let your face shine upon them cause them to be strengthened in their spirit, soul, and body, that they will continue rejoicing, contending, and watching. 
We ask these blessings in the name of Jesus, the Christ our Lord. We thank you. Let the people of God give God praise now. Come on now. Let's give God thanks. Let's give God praise in the name of Jesus, the Christ our Lord and our Savior. I am so grateful this morning that you have spent this time with me uh, in the match matchless name of Jesus Christ. I encourage you to continue supporting uh, Cross Nation Ministries and keep in mind, praise the name of the Lord, that we need your prayers. We need your continual support of your tithe and offering. Now listen now for a word from Elder Timothy Sanders in the name of Jesus the Christ, how you can be a blessing to Cross Nation Ministries. Have a blessed day in the name of Jesus, the Christ our Lord. And remember, keep rejoicing, keep contending, and keep watching. Here is Elder Timothy Sanders at this time. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and, and be glad, glad in it. it. We're so glad that you decided to join us on this morning. And what an awesome word that was given by our Apostle Robert L. Sanders. As always. Continue the run in, in 2021. 2021. I mean, what an encouraging word that we can hold on to, you know, to get us through our day, to get us through our week, our month prayerfully through this year. I agree 100%. And I'm not just saying this because he's my father-in-law, but I take some amazing takeaways from Bishop. And for me, continuing the run in 2021 um, reminds me and encourages me to go back to the goals that I set for myself. You know I'm a big goal setter. And I set academic goals. My mom likes to refer to them as lifelong learning goals. So I set academic goals, personal goals, professional goals, and 2020 kind of got me off kilter and this message bishop started us off with, off with this year um got me back those goals got me back pursuing those goals wanting to um rebuild and reframe them and and to still go for them and you know when i go to bishop over the years i go to him with these ideas of grandeur and he'd say well pursue right pursue excellence until excellence is achieved, achieved right? that's bishop's statement <laughs> <laughs> that's right you know and just, you know, speaking of pursue and excellence and um, the excellent people that are in our listening audience, why don't you tell them how they can continue to be a blessing to Cross Nation? Yes, and we look at your contributions towards uh, Cross Nation as goals that you've committed to Cross Nation, and we thank you so much for that. You've been with us every step of the way since we started here this time last year. Yeah. Um, and you've helped us accomplish so much in this time, and we just thank you so much for it. We pray for you continually, and um, you've been just such a blessing to the ministry. And as you know, there's always three ways to do so. You can give through the Cash App, through the Give or Buy App, or you can always mail your check or money order to 550 Genesee Street, Buffalo, New York, 14204. That's awesome. Guess what? But there's one more. What? Our chairs are on their way. Yes, our chairs! So, um, as you know, um, Bishop coined our chair campaign kingdom chair outreach. outreach right so our chairs are being delivered 200 on, chairs on february 27th so, so um they are paid with halfway we're halfway, we're halfway, halfway there we're and halfway there. thanks for to you and all your contributions that's halfway right. there and paying for that halfway there and um each chair costs 50 dollars, and that covers shipping and handling so when we come back into the sanctuary yes. when it's time for us to come back into we're the gonna have a comfy chair we're gonna have a comfy chair Thanks. but you know these chairs will be here but we hope that you don't sit in them too long because we're hoping that you'll be standing up you with your hands raised praise. giving god the praise and, and the glory and hopefully we'll be able to do that sometime soon that's right that's yeah. right so april with that yes what do we want them to do? we want them to have an awesome day we want you to have an awesome Bishop would say super colossal. An excellent day. God bless you.